Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna show you this cool project that I recently completed here at the headquarters. It's gonna be more in a fast forward pace, but it'll show you, you know, the bare metal tank, the little bodywork stuff that I did, the primers that we did, um, everything to get it done, painted, base coat, clear coat, flake, all that. And this is something that you can take and apply to any kind of project that you're working on. You could do it to a car. Uh, we also have step-by-step -step videos of doing, you know, complete car paint jobs in the VIP area. But you could do it to a classic. We have a member doing classic refrigerators and gas pumps and selling them on eBay and making extra money. Um, some kids doing Xboxes and stuff. You could basically paint anything with automotive grade paints and just do cool custom stuff. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I finally banged it out. It's a scissor lamp, architecture lamp style. You know, fully moving. We painted the shroud and the gas tank. Uh, we put the Harley Davidson decal on it. And I think you're really gonna like it. So if you wanna learn more about auto body and paint, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com after watching this video. If you're on YouTube, just click the link below. It'll take you to the blog post of this. And you'll also get the chance to get a 85 page auto body and paint manual as well as a 90 minute DVD. All right, so don't forget to check out the VIP area. It's Tony, I hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you soon, bye. Basically a washer, okay? I found a washer uh, that would fit the top of this gas tank. All right, steel gas tank that we got off eBay. Found the metal washer, and I had to basically drill this out uh, to fit my scissor lamp, okay? Found the piece of pipe. I'm not the best welder, I'm not gonna lie, okay? And I just basically put some tacks around the whole thing, and I'm not even gonna bother to, to fill this up with weld, all right, because I'll probably burn through it. I'm not the best welder. I'd like to start taking some welding classes uh, pretty soon, but this is good, all right? So what I'm gonna do is mix a very tiny amount of Bondo and fill all these cracks up, okay? Make it all nice. Very little, it's just right there. So, I really don't have time to put on the tank, right? And I may use my fingers. You could mix Bondo and reapply it in this area, but if they're just so tiny, I consider these more like glaze fills. of these scratches, these are basically, uh, I guess, from pressing uh, the form out for this gas tank when they manufactured it, right? So this is all gonna be covered with 2K primer thick and block sanded out. That'll take care of all these little scratches in here. Wax and grease the whole thing down. Uh, you can see here I have a bottle of wax and grease remover with some old baby clothes, you know, whatever rags you got, just wipe. We filter the primer before we put it in. All right, so right here, all we're doing is block sanding out the 2K primer uh, to get the grooves out in the metal tank. All right, so that's all you have to do. You may have to give it another coat on some of your projects, um, but that's all you got to do. Make sure that you cut it out, all out and make it flat uh, before your paint goes on. Sanding round corners like this on gas tanks and on cars and things, I like to basically use my palm of my hand. All right, now the wrong thing to do is put your three fingers on the paper like that and just sand in one spot forever. Then you're gonna get grooves in your primer. All right, that's not the way to do it. If you're gonna sand with your hands, which is a great way to sand if you know how to do it, do it. You're not gonna do it with a block because it's flat and this is all curved and rounded, right? This, this whole area is nice and sanded, right? This whole upper piece in here. But as we go down the gas tank in here, we still have to take all these grooves out. All right, this is from the metal work. Uh, of the of the brand new gas tank. So all you got to do is just keep sanding it out until it gets nice and flat like in this area here. Then you're ready. For it. 
little small dent in here somewhere, I lost it. So basically did a guide coat with some flat black spray paint. Show you that in other videos um, when we get that stuff. So just gonna go flat with the block. Here it is right here. Okay, you wanna crisscross it. And uh, just fill it in like that, basically. I'm gonna use our finger. And fill those up, because uh, it's gonna be a little hard to get. Right, to get, to get close around the tank area like this. See what I mean? Use your fingers. Uh, we got all around the top over here. Sanding and you see the water on the tank like this or your fender, whatever you're working on. And it looks nice and smooth like that. That's how your clear coat is basically gonna look on your finished product. All right, so if this looks nice, it's gonna look excellent. Uh, when you have your paint and clear coat on it. Alright, so I decided I was also going to paint the uh, light itself to match the tank. micro flake because it's going over black you know you're gonna see it we'll use the tack rag and get all the little lint off the lettering it's basically what you want to do It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and this is the finished product for the gas tank project. Gas tank 
lamp project. Pretty cool. Uh, we painted the little shroud here the same color as the tank. Uh, black base with a little bit of micro sequence in it, silver flake. You could see a little bit of silver flake. Came out really cool looking. Again, I've been always wanting to make something like this. Finally, I did one and like all my family members are asking me for one. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, you could probably sell them, you know, sell them, but uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of work to make one. Um, just a lot of time that you gotta put into it. Um, and for me, I don't think it's worth making a bunch of them and selling them. It's more, probably more like giving them away as gifts to, to special people. Um, anyway, it came out really cool. This one is going to Japan. And um, I hope you like it. So check out learnautobodyandpaint.com if you want to learn exactly how to do a cool projects like this. Um, obviously it's not plugged in, but and I also have to take the tape off under here. And then we put a plastic uh, ring that goes around the top of this light area. Um, but if you want to learn exactly how to do this stuff, um, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com right now. I'm giving away a free 85 page auto body and paint manual as well as a, a 90 minute DVD. So go ahead and check that out. Again, it's Tony. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it when this thing came out. Sweet. Talk to you soon. Bye.